Hey, what's up, people? This is Pinaris, and welcome back to Grounded. We are picking up exactly where the last episode left off, and I'm trying not to get eaten by a spider. We need to get over here and see if we can grab some of this thistle so we can have some of those thorns to make one of those spiky weapons. Now, I do like the reach of our our spear, but something that hits a little bit harder is definitely welcome. Now, let's see if we can actually get up here without causing any issues. Come on. I don't want to go too far up here and trigger anybody. Okay, we're good. We're up here. All right. Oh. You're kidding me. Oh, I was about to say. So they changed the way you get these. Last time you would had you had to smack them, and then you can get like a whole bunch. But now you actually have to physically grab them, which is actually way better. Even though you see it's kind of hard to grab them. All right, let's do. I was gonna try to do twenty. Come on, one more. Good, twenty. That is a good amount. Now, can I make that spiky sprig? Craft and equip. Beautiful. All right, we got ourselves a spiky sprig. Now we can smack these animals that we need to. Oh, water. Can I get this without causing issues? Yes, thank you. Thank you. We don't need any petals right now. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, we need food. Nope, wrong button. We'll get used to the controls. I am still getting used to how things work. Let's eat. Come on. Yep, totally. With any luck, we'll be leaving this area with a bunch of acorns, which fill up way more than mushrooms do. So we should be all set. But what I really want to do today is I want to hopefully get enough pieces to make some acorn armor. All right, let's bash open these acorns. Uh, four. All right, I don't know if we need, I don't think we need acorn tops. I know we need acorn shells. Was that only one? Nope, there we go. You tell me that there was no acorns that fit, came out of that? So where do you get the acorn bits from now? Or maybe it's random. Nope, there we go. There are my acorn bits. Perfect. All right. I don't remember how many shells we needed, even though we're picking up exactly where the last episode left off. We'll check in a bit. Okay, thank you. I don't need that. I'm not going to go crazy with those because those things are massive. All right, come on. Thank you. Where is... Those bits really do disappear, don't they? Aphid honeydew. Okay, let's check and see how much we need for the armor. So we need one, four, six. Okay, we have enough acorn shells. We need to get some more sap. And let's make a bunch of crude rope. Actually, we can do this back at the base. We don't need to do it now. All right. So we have enough mite fuzz. That's easy. We have enough of this. That's easy. So all we need is the sap. That's going to be easy too. Let's get up here and grab the sap. I'm going to grab one of those just in case. Okay. So let's see if we can find one of those sap clusters again. See if we can get any more acorn bits while we're at it. We should be able to make one of those shovels, too. Now that we have the acorns, and we'll be able to get one of those grubs. And then we can have a canteen, and we can fill it up at the juice box. But anyways, let's focus. I feel like <laughs> I jump between what I want to do so much. Okay, no, not that way. This way. This is what I want. 
This is not the spider side, is it? 13. I definitely didn't need that. Okay, we're good. Okay. Four hits? Four hits. Come on. I think I can get that. Isn't there a way to crouch? Definitely not C. It's not control either. Alright, whatever. We're gonna let that go. Nope. I want to take that. Didn't want to take that. Wanted to take just the sap. Okay, we have nine sap. I think that's more than enough. But while we're here, we might as well grab a little bit more. That was aphid honeydew. Okay, I think we're all set. Let's make our way back to the... Yep, inventory's full. That's fine. Let's make our way back in this direction because our base is over here. Or our work, our workbench is near the mysterious machine, which is pointing in this direction. All right, let's go. We got to get ourselves a dandelion so we can float down and avoid hurting ourselves. Ladybug. Definitely don't want to run into another one of those guys, those larvae. At least not right now. Let's get our spiky sprig on the bar. Let's put it right here. Don't want to fight you. Alright, we don't need that water. Where's the juice box? We're definitely going to need to put a marker by the juice box if we end up building there. Because, good lord. Threat detected. That I don't like the sound of that. Oh, it's a mite. Hello. More threats? No, no more threats. They definitely they changed the combat music. I didn't know what that was. Why is the combat music so chill now? Dun, dun, dun. I guess it maybe it depends on the threat. Yeah, it probably depends on the threat. All right, we got to go this way. We need to make some markers. Okay, we made it back to the mysterious machine. Definitely is not the way I wanted to go, but hey, it worked out. All right, looking good. Well, we could build up on top of that ridge. That might be a good spot. I think I built my first base ever right over there. So maybe not. That would probably, that'd probably be way too close. Okay. So, let's make ourselves some brand new armor. Hopefully, way better armor. A fuzzy, stylish hat that increases stamina efficiency. Alright, so... Craft this. Uh, I should have said craft and equipped. Alright, we need some more crude rope. Crude rope dropped. Uh, come back here. Crap. <laughs> you missed it. Alright, we need to drop some stuff. Let's drop the acorns. They're right in front of us. Let's drop the sprigs. We don't need all of those sprigs. Let's drop these stalks and we'll drop the pebble. It can stun on impact when thrown. Oh, so you can actually throw these. Not very good as a handheld weapon, but can stun on impact when thrown. Cool. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll pick you guys up a little later. Where did that crude rope go? Do you all see that crude rope? There it is. God, you got far. How the hell did you get so far away? Okay. I know I don't need to be in this to craft it, 
but it's just easier to already be in the machine while you're doing this. Craft and equip. And the legs. We need four more crude rope. Let's get some more of this plant fiber. You can get plant fiber from this, actually. Let's go ahead and break this. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. <laughs> All that plant fiber. Nope, we don't need a sprig. Ten. Ten should be good. I think ten's good. Ten's probably not good. Let's get a couple more. I think it costs three to make just one. Alright, let's see. We need four more. There we go. Okay, and the legs. That is all we needed. Awesome. Now we have some better armor, and this is going to give us max health, I believe. This one gave us... I think we stayed fuller longer with food. But this one gives us more health. Inventory. And... Where's my armor? This. Equipped? Equipped. Oh, they don't take up space anymore. Before, they would take up space in your inventory when you didn't have them on. That's that's a great change. Set bonus. Uncrackable. Now, hmm. Now, what if I take this off? I don't get the set bonus. But I still get some max health. I'm not sure what the uncrackable set bonus is. Let me see. Let me look that up real quick. Let's see. I always wondered what these set bonuses was. Uncrackable increases the amount of times a player can block repeated attacks. Wow. This armor is very valuable for being easy to acquire early game. The only thing required is a pellet hammer. Okay, cool. So we can block repeated attacks. That is pretty awesome. I wish there was a way that you can find that end game, but we're good. And we're done with this armor. Should we just toss it on the ground because it's taking up space? Yeah, let's get rid of it. We'll come back if we need it, but right now we don't. Oh, little armor icons. Okay, so I think we should probably set up base. Let's do that, and then we might go on a hunt for those other burgle chips. We'll come back for this stuff. So I think we're going to set up base near this... What's it called? This juice box? Maybe we'll set up a little bit in front of the juice box. Because we'll have a constant set of water, which is good. Yeah, I think that'd be good. So how about we set up maybe right over here? This is a good open space. Yeah, why not? Or do we go closer to the juice box? Let's go closer to the juice, juice box. Let's see how we can finagle this. We can probably block off this entire area and stop any larva coming through. Yeah, that'd be actually kind of cool. All right, so let's see. I'm pretty sure, wasn't there a whole menu that you can, ah, uh, there we go. So if you press B, you open up the construction menu and you can see all this stuff here. Now I don't have two story building just yet, so I'm not sure exactly how much I'll actually be able to build. You know what, let's go, let's go analyze some stuff first. Maybe we'll be able to get better building stuff that way. I know we can analyze a grass stock, and I know we can analyze... Oh, we don't even have the weapon to take down those things. We need something stronger in order to get the... I don't even know what they're called. Pine needles or something? Nope. I don't think that's the right way. I think it's this way. You know what I mean. Like the wood building material in this game. Is that the baseball? Looks like the baseball. This is what I need. Okay. Let's cut this down. Hey. 
Come on. Okay. Just want to analyze this stock. Analyze. What do we get? There we go. Perfect. Windowed, grass wall, grass table, triangle wall, and half wall A, half wall B. Okay, cool. 20 raw science. Let's do this. This is the thistle needle. Spike strip. That's going to be good for keeping those creepy crawlies away. Maybe like ants that try to steal our stuff. And let's get this. Is this the acorn bit? Boost juice. Interesting. That has to be for the smoothie machine. I think we can actually make the smoothie machine according to the crafting log. Yeah, we can make the smoothie machine. Mixes and blends things into drinkable substance that restores health or provides various side effects. I just slapped the mic. Sorry about that. Grub goop. Okay, we know how to do that. I'm pretty sure you just get that from grubs. So maybe we could do that once we build a little bit of a place. This was something new that I saw. Spinning wheel. Spin various materials into strong and luxurious threads. We need clay, ant parts, crude rope. Okay. Interesting. Sap catcher. Attach, attach this to sap producing roots and branches for more convenient harvesting. Wow. Weed stem. That's what it's called. So you need to break down the dandelion stuff to get a weed stem. Storage chest. Spike strip. We need a weed stem for that. Plant fiber for the trail marker. Okay. Well, we got that. That's done. Let's go back to our area. <laughs> I wonder how much damage that does when you throw it. Not looking into not looking to get into any fights right now, but I'm really wondering how much damage that does. Okay. So let's see. Oh, we have a weed stem thing right here. Dandelion. Can I actually chop that with this? Oh, we can. Okay. For some reason, I thought I needed a tier two axe in order to chop that. So that means that I can bring one of these over and analyze it. All right, let's chop this down first. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's done. Maybe I want this to grow back, so I won't chop that down just yet. Thank you for the juice. Okay, so B. We don't have any foundation pieces right now. I think you might get that from Burgle when you unlock tier 2 things. I don't know how much raw science I have right now. So I don't know if I should go back to Burgle just to check. But let's set up something basic right now. Just to get an idea of how we're going to do this. Alright. Obviously want to block off some of these areas. Yeah, I think I want to build maybe to this rock and then we'll block it off. Probably should have built higher. Yeah, there we go. The building in this game is actually a lot easier than it is in Ranch Simulator, which I guess is warranted. No, I don't want to. I want to keep the rock. Maybe we come back a little bit. How do I cancel X? Cancel this build. Cancel that one. Cancel that one too. And let's get back our walls. I can't believe I forgot about a door. Was that here or was that there? I think that was here. Yeah, no, that was there. Alright. We'll build it right here. Alright, everybody, we're back. So I built a makeshift 
workaround, but it was all for naught because I needed to pick up the stem so I can actually get our scaffolds. So now we actually have scaffolds and I can build something way better than what I just built here. So I'm going to have to go through and build it all again. But let me go and see if I can analyze this thing. Oh, we can get these now. Give me that. Thank you. Open your inventory to equip it, then push the glide button while in the air. Okay. Got ourselves a glider. So now, if we fall from a high place, we can glide. Alright, so let's see. Let me go analyze this real quick, and then I'm going to go back to building our preliminary base. All right, let's see. Let's analyze this. Let's see what we got. Okay, we can make ourselves a sturdy door. We can make a stem wall, a windowed stem wall, or a triangle stem wall. All right, so that's good. I'm glad I came here and did that. So I'm going to make our way back over to... Hi, Ladybug. I'm going to make our way back over to our juice box and we'll see if we can make a better place than what i currently have here our preliminary build and i think we might actually start building in the next episode because it's going to be quite a lot yeah it's definitely gonna be a lot so you know what i might actually end this episode here let's see how much time yeah, you know what? This one's going to be a little bit of a short one, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. And then in the next one, I think we'll build our starter base. Yeah. And then if we need to expand, we could definitely expand to different sections of our juice box. So I think the water, our juice is going to drop right here. And I definitely want to build one of those canister things. Where is it at? I know we have one. Yeah, I definitely want to build a water container right under that thing so this can fill up. So we're definitely going to have enough water before we can actually build one of those dew collectors. But anyways, I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you all enjoyed it, please like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. If you're able to get in contact with me, you can follow our Twitter at Prenarios Gaming, or you can join the Discord, which is in the description of any of my videos. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Later.